It was April 11th, 2009, and my mom decided she wanted to do her first ever tandem skydive. She watched the film uh, Bucket List. She said, oh, well, Ty skydives. He's been doing it for ages. Let's go ahead and go and do a skydive with him. When we did our skydive, I jumped before my mom, and I decided to deploy my parachute a little bit lower than I usually do, 3,500 feet, and instantly I started spinning, and I knew something was wrong. You know it, I'm just looking at the ground coming up so fast, so quick, and I thought, okay, this is, this is it. I must have blacked out. I don't feel that I should be here right now because the accident itself was so horrific when I hit the ground and I broke so many bones, shattered my jaw, my teeth, but I had a helmet on, so that was the one. Two, I landed in the field and not on the paved runway. If I would have landed two meters, just two meters further than where I landed, I would have landed in, on the cement, on the paved runway. And there's no way I would have recovered. I, I would have died instantly. Even when I talk about it, I get not choked up, but I get kind of um, at a loss for words just because everything was so miraculous. I ended up in Bali, had all these opportunities by lifeguarding in Australia, next thing you know, I'm over in New Zealand teaching surfing. And I ended up here, all by chance, I think. And I'm a big believer in fate. It was gonna be living the, the stereotypical American life, so to speak, before everything happened and changed my thoughts and changed my way of thinking on how I wanna live my life. What I learned about life living in Bali Read a nice book, lay in a hammock, go out in the water, take the shortcuts so you don't have to deal so much with the traffic. The way of living here is so simple. You know, I don't have to worry about a mortgage, I don't have to worry about a car payment. My first day back on the beach with my feet in the sand as a lifeguard captain and getting called to one of our towers for a surfer that was floating face down in the water. The team of lifeguards all took part in saving this man's life. I was going, okay, well, there is purpose of, of surviving that accident. I don't still, I still don't know exactly what it is, but there's a purpose and... Right now, my life consists of surf guiding. So I do this Monday through Friday, and then on my off days, Saturday and Sunday, I surf. I surf just for me. Every single day is pure excitement and pure adventure. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I don't want it to end anytime soon now that I'm actually stating it. <laughs> oh, you know that it goes and it starts before it slows and you know when you go, you'll come back to me. I, I'd say for me, a good life would be exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm most grateful for being alive and being able to enjoy life because I saw how quickly it can be lost. Six years later, here I am, and I'm able to use my body and surf almost to the point where I, I don't know, I, I some days I forget that I have injuries. So. I believe in fate because of that reason, because of the fact that I went through such a nightmarish ordeal, but yet I'm happier than I've ever been. And I can still say that one of the best decisions in my life was not to cut away my malfunction parachute because it's put me in one of the best places in my life.